Hello class, um, good, um, good day and uh, I hope you are actually enjoying and staying safe. I'm Mr. Toby by name and um, here before me I have a topic, electric field. Now, let us actually go back to the basics. Now, what is field? What do you understand by the word field? Now, when you talk about field, uh, I know what will come to your mind now is football field. Um, a place whereby you can actually practice or what um, your football skills. Now, but a field in the world physics is what a region of space whereby what something is experienced. A region of space whereby what a force is experienced. Let us go there. So we have that what a field can be defined. as a region of space where a force is experienced. Now, as you can see, it's a region of space whereby what? A force is experienced. Now, when we come to physics, we have what? Three kinds of field. We have three kinds of field in physics. We have one as the what? The gravitational field. We have the what? Electrostatic field. And we have the last one, the magnetic field. So now, as we can say, that what is a region of space whereby what? where a force is experienced. Now, when we want to talk about gravitational field, we say that what? Gravitational field can be defined as a region of space where gravitational force is experienced. When we talk about our F equals to G M1 M2 over R squared. Now, we have this as what? Our gravitational As time goes on, we move into it. Now, electrostatic field is a region of space whereby what? An electrical force is experienced. And same thing goes to what? A magnetic field is a region of space whereby what? A magnetic what? Force is experienced. Now, but in this case, we are going to be looking at what? Electrostatic field. Now, let us actually write that down. Electrostatic field. As I have said earlier on, that what? Electrostatic field is a region of space whereby what? Electric force is experienced. There's a region of space where something is experienced. Now, you can't actually wake up early in the morning and say you want to um, play your football in, in the road where cars are passing. Because it's not a space meant for that. There's a region of space meant for playing or football. So, same thing also to what? Electrostatic field. is a region of space whereby what? You experience electric what? Force. You experience electric force or electric force is experienced. Let us write it down. Electrostatic field can be defined as a region of space. You don't need to cry. Where by electric force is experienced. Now it's just as simple as that. Whereby what electric force is experienced. Now we're going to be looking at what some things that you need to understand under electrostatic field. We're going to be looking at Field lines, field lines, field lines. Because when you talk about electrostatic field, from the word static is the stationary word, is the stationary state of what? Electricity. Electrostatic, a stationary state of electricity. Or when what? Electric force, it has its rest. That is when we talk about electrostatic from the word electro, from the word static. Static means what? At rest. 
Now we're going to be looking at field lines. What are field lines? They are imaginary lines. They are imaginary lines. I want you to write, or let me write that for you. They are imaginary lines. They are imaginary lines. Um, they are imaginary lines that are drawn to describe the behavior of fields. They are imaginary lines that are drawn. Drawn to describe the behavior of fields. Now, we have it as an imaginary, what we talk about imaginary line. This in, you can't see it with your eye. You can't see them with your eye. Now, we have some field lines that we're going to be drawing. Uh, I will actually introduce you to what? The type of what? Field lines that we're going to be drawing at the time, at the course of this class. So, we're going to be looking at what? Electric charges. Electric charges. Electric charges. So that you can have a little um, knowledge. This is a, a SS1 courses. So uh, we can have a little knowledge of what we are talking about. Now, electric charges, these are charges generated. They generate the electric what? Field. They are charges. that generates the electric fields. So as you can see, you already understand the word electric field. And now, they generate the electric field. What are they generating? How do we indicate it? is through what? Our field lines. And we have types of what? Electric charges. We have what? The positive charge and the what? The negative charge. The positive charge and the negative charge. I want you to write that. I want you to write that. There are types of charges. And we have what? Let us take it one after the other. What are positive charge? Now, positive charges, when we talk about positive charge, because we have the word electric charge. You can write down, please. Positive charge, this is a source of electric field. They are source. They are source of electric field. Meaning that what? Electric field is actually what? Generated from them. They are source of electric field. Why negative charge? What's a negative charge? You can hold your textbook so that you can go through it also to confirm. Negative charge uh, can be defined as the what? As the end point of electric field. They are what? The end point of electric what? Field. Or can be defined as what? The point where electric field is terminated. Or the point where electric field is what? Terminated. As simple as that. You don't need to cram. Now, let me just draw a little diagram to actually illustrate what I'm talking about. Now, you have a positive charge. From your mathematics, you know this. It's an operation. So we have this. These are lines, electric field lines. 
So we have this. For positive charge, we say that what they are the source of electric field, meaning that what? It's all generated from the positive charge. That's the what? Field lines. These are field lines. This is a positive charge. And for negative charge, we have it as what? Well, this also. But you see the difference between the positive and the negative charge. The field lines are terminated in that point for negative charge. The field lines are terminated. So the positive charge gives out why the field lines for, um, for negative charge, they take in, as you can see, illustrated. The positive charge gives out is actually the source of the electric field. Why the negative charge is the what? Is the point whereby what? The field lines are terminated. They are terminated. So we're going to be looking at some other things. We're going to be looking at some other things so that we can illustrate it better. You can, you can actually look at it. We have the positive charge. We have the negative charge and other things. Now let us look at what? How these two charges what? Relate. How these two charges relate. Now, for you to understand how they relate, I'm going to relate it to what? What we call the electrostatic electrostatic law. Now, electrostatic law states that like charges what? Attract Light charges what? Repel, sorry. Repel. Why? On light charges. Attract. Light charges what? Repel. Why? On light charges what? Attract. So therefore, we have a positive charge and a what? positive charge. We don't expect them to uh, uh, attract. We expect them to what? Repel. As you can see from the line of force, electric line of force. Sorry, pardon me. So now look at it. Please, how do you indicate the positive charge and negative charge through the arrows? It's giving out. It's giving out. Very simple. So this means what? Unlike light charges what? Attract. These are two positive charges. They what? They repel. Sorry. Light charges what? Repel. Why on light charges, positive and negative, the what? Attract. They can give you this in your exam and they want you to what? Indicate the arrows, where it will go from or where it will be terminated. So we have that what? The positive charge what? Is what? Is the source. Is giving out. As you can see, for my arrow, it's giving out. Why the negative charge is what? Is what? Taking it in. As you can see, drawn on the, on the board. This is what? Light charges. And this is what? On light Charges. So we are going to actually look at how we can play around this by talking about what the properties of what electric line of force. And this thing, I can actually let me take you back. This one is called isolated charges. The isolated charges. Isolated 
charging. So you see me in the electric field two class so that I can actually share more knowledge on this. Thank you very much. See you there. Are you good? We play on there. We still reading. Oh, they will cut it off now.